Hello my gorgeous darklings, I hope you are having a wonderful week and you have a wonderful weekend ahead of you. I am really excited for this month's Witch Casket. It is May, which also means it's my birthday month and my birthday is next Wednesday. I am super excited, I can't wait, it's going to be so much fun. So. Let's get down to May, baby. <laughs> so, I have used a couple of the items. Uh, well, I say I used a couple of the items. I took the crystals out because we had the solar eclipse uh, full moon. So, I charged all of my crystals. And so, I decided to cleanse the ones that are in here. So, they are all nicely charged and ready for action. So I'm really excited for this one and let's get into it. So May is all about magical healing and if you are new to this, hi, I'm Nyx Raven. I um, purchase the Witch Casket subscription box each month. I pay for this out of my own account. This isn't... Um, what is the word i can't remember the word this isn't paid for i'm not being paid to do these videos i do them completely off my own back and i love it so yeah um a couple of reasons why i think witch casket is absolutely amazing is one if you are new to the craft or you are finding new ways you know maybe your money income has come a little bit loosey-goosey and you can't quite afford all the expensive materials needed which you don't really need any um not expensive ones anyway um these boxes are incredible because they already come with anything you could possibly need um in terms of the theme for each month and every box sold they plant a tree so i think the last email i saw i think there were 108,000 trees planted because of amazing people like me <laughs> um purchasing the box and whether you are just a one-time purchaser or you subscribe every month you are putting the tree back onto this beautiful mother nature of ours. Um, it is also run by Deb and Ella. They are a mum and daughter and they have done this off their own back. Um, they started off, I think, pretty much in their house and now they have a nice warehouse where everything is stocked and assembled perfectly all designs and ritual kits everything like that are designed by deb and ella as they are witches so all of their knowledge and a bit of their magic comes into every casket they uh, send out so it's absolutely amazing and it is really really cheap 29 pound a month which for what you get inside i ain't stopping <laughs> so as always, what I do is I go through the pamphlet first and then I will select my first favourite two items and leave them till last and then I will show you the contents of everything and go through a few bits of it. So let's get started. So like I said, May is all about magical healing. So we get a crystal healing wooden box a engraved wooden intentional healing easel, easel um, a healing amethyst potion infuser. So it's hard on, and I'm gonna let you see what I'm putting behind. Those two are going there. Fabulous. Uh, an emotional healing aura spray. <clears throat> Excuse me. A heart healing incense stick, which is so beautiful. An amethyst healing crystal. Healing witch's brew. Uh, which is their tea, um, a lunar with lavender enamel pin, I did bring my jacket upstairs so I might actually be able to show you guys my pins, 
um, a nice simple healing spells parchment scroll and as always a magical healing art print. Now the art prints are done by local friends of theirs um, so I always love the artwork. Um, oh you can see here all up there these are the art prints over the last year and a bit um, I have been collecting witch casket so here's another one to add to the part how stunning is that it's so simple yet so beautiful so this is the art print which is as like i said gorgeous 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 the witch's brew so the witch's brew is relax and enjoy our healing blend of rose and mint i do like a mint tea um i've never tried it with rose so this is going to be a nice one um, brew with intent, drink mindfully and affirm. In this witch's brew I find natural healing for body and mind. So you always get two packets. Um, another thing I forgot to add at the very first start was the boxes and most of the contents are biodegradable. Which for me is a total bonus because I hate plastic waste. Hate plastic waste. So if I can get biodegradable then that is what I'm doing. So these paper envelopes, things, the packaging is the word, are biodegradable, which is amazing. So yes, yes, yes. And my cats are playing with the box. Sorry, I apologize. The next is the heart healing incense. This is a gorgeous um, blend of jasmine and rose. And it actually smells to die for. It says, surround yourself with the healing vibrations of jasmine and rose. So, you like the incense and affirm. I surround myself with healing energies and vibrations which soothe my heart and soul. I love that. And they smell so good. And we're actually going to have like a healing bath. Um, maybe tomorrow. Because I think, I think I need a bit of healing, to be honest. Um... This is the little healing easel, which I think is so cute. I love this because I'm such an art um, fan. Let's try and get that into focus. Kind of, almost. Do that. Yeah, how cute that is. So multi B. I love it. It's adorable. Even this. Oh, hey, this one has auto focus. Awesome. I have a new phone. So. Apologies if I mess up a little bit. Um, okay, so the little healing easel. Use this magical easel as an aid to setting intentions, particularly useful for things such as distant healing spells. Place a picture of this person for whom you are casting a spell to aid you as you work your magic. I love that. So if there's somebody like any of my friends or family that are hurting, you know, whether it's mentally, physically, emotionally, and you want to do a spell for them, then that is a, a great idea to pop their picture on and then you can focus more easily with their picture instead of having to focus on what they look like because things can go a bit funny with that. Personally, anyway. <laughs> uh, next up is the gorgeous enamel pen. Come on, hey. How gorgeous is that? I am in love. I and mean, even the back is super cute. So I love that. I love the moon. I'm such a moon baby. Uh, next up is the beautiful piece of amethyst. So the sigil that is engraved on this is Deb and Ella's personal sigil for healing. It is a stunning piece of amethyst with a gorgeous sigil. And the card says, inscribed with our powerful healing sigil, this amethyst is an excellent physical and emotional healer. An amethyst calm, serene energy. An amethyst calm and serene energy make this a great meditation aid. Amethyst is a natural tranquilizer. It relieves stress and strain, soothes anxiety and irritability, and calms down anger, fear, and grief. Perfecto. Another amethyst to my pile, but none as beautiful as that with the gorgeous engraved 
a job. Next up, this is the second one now. I'm so loving these. I love making my own tea, um, but when it's loose herbs, it can get really annoying. So I have my own little packages um, that are biodegradable because I make my own tea. Um, but sometimes if I'm working with like a bigger strainer herb and I don't feel the tea bag is necessary, I still need a way of straining it. So, oh my God, I keep doing that with all the peanuts. <laughs> so this is a really adorable tea strainer with a stunning piece of amethyst on the bottom. So you can brew your um, herbs. It says use this infuser, infuser to steep your herbs, crystals, etc. So you can pop a couple of crystals in um, if you're using them, I don't know, in the bath or something, you can pop this in. Um, to make potions, infusions and elixir, amethyst is a calming stone of peace and healing which can soothe the heart, body and mind. So we are on a major amethyst roll right now because amethyst is a very, very powerful crystal. So next is the parchment and then I have my two favourite items and I'm done. So, simple healing spell. So you get quite a few options. You have a distance healing spell, a physical healing spell, emotional healing spell, and a spiritual healing spell. So it covers all of the areas that you could think of you know for healing whether you're doing it at a distance a personal one a spiritual one etc etc it's got all of that so we're down to my final two so this is the aura spray i love when they do aura spray bottles because they're never plain um, make sure I have all the ingredients out. Oh, nope, this isn't it. So, and it comes in this gorgeous little satchel. So, the Healing Aura Spray. You get some gorgeous rose quartz and some lavender flowers. I have so many, so much lavender, it's crazy. And then you get this gorgeous little aura bottle. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see. Can you see? See for me? No. Ah, that's a shame. Um, so there's like a little, um, very, very faint little pattern, which is basically, is it that one? Yeah. So it's that pattern, but it's, on this tiny little bottle um, so what you would do is you would boil a pan of water uh, it doesn't have to boil it just has to be warm so you know kettle if you want let it cool down and then what you do is you pop your lavender into the water um, and then stir it clockwise and charge with the intention that this magical blend will bring healing and then once it is cooled you then strain it which is where the beautiful little tea strainer will come in handy strain that out um you can give the lavender seeds back to the earth you can plant them you can scatter them somewhere um yeah give them back to mother earth and then you would use the water. Um, if you want it to last, um, the best option is to add 50% water and 50% witch hazel, or if you don't have witch hazel, then you can use um, alcohol, like vodka. Um, and then you pop it into your little baby bottle, and then you are good to go, my friend. And if we are. So you don't even have to use, oh, you can, I'm sorry. Also, you pop your crystals into the inside of the bottle. So that helps as well, because rose quartz is very good for self-love and self-healing. And Zifanel is this gorgeous wooden box. 
what's in the box what's in the box look how pretty that is so this works as like a crystal grid so you slide the top off i don't take it all the way off because it can get a little stiff to put it out i kept from that why do they always do it when they know i'm trying to do something so with the box you get some stunning pieces of amethyst and then it gives you two little instruction cards and then they actually label it nicely so you know which one's first. So, what you do with your box. Place inside a, a note, items, herbs or amulets which re represents the kind of healing you desire. This can be a quick note saying my heart is healed or it could include rose petals, jasmine, a talisman of some sort. You can make this as simple or as elaborate as you want. Remember, this is all down to you and your intentions that you want to set out. Doesn't You don't have to go big or go home. You can do it nice and simple, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, or I'm just going to pop a note in. It will work as long as your intentions and your mind and your energy is focused. You feed it. <laughs> um, add the Master Crystal, which is charged with your intent to the center of the box lid. This can be an amethyst quartz, a amethyst healing, or a clear quartz to amplify your intent, intent or a stone which represents a particular chakra. Then lay your amethyst chips in a symmetrical pattern on the grid. Use your intuition and place them where it feels right. Come back to your box from time to time to recharge with your intent. Once you feel it no longer serves you, you can cleanse and reuse it. And that is all you got to do. That is so simple. And that is it, my guys. I hope you have enjoyed May's box. I'm still trying to work out the whole camera thing because I've obviously got a new setup. So my chair's higher than my sofa. Um, I'll get that though. All good. I will get that and i hope you have enjoyed this i will pop their website into the descriptions and i hope you all have an amazing weekend an amazing week amazing rest of the month and a blessed year blessed be